I'm a geologist um, by profession. Being in the mine, you're exposed to so many more careers and different processes. I love it so much because geology, it was mainly the drilling and the core logging. So it is a dirty game, but it is quite fun. Glencoe Coal of South Africa have mines within the municipality of Imalashleni. We obviously got different communities around each of our operations. The host community is Urkis and Paula. We've got a lot of employment coming through from these areas. We are committed to empowering our communities uh, in the areas in which we operate. Their ultimate objective is to build Brazilian communities. And that obviously entails us contributing and taking them along in this journey with us. There was a gap for women-owned companies, black-owned companies. So my business partner and myself, we started the company to Dwala Mining. It has been very challenging, the business that we are in, providing mining services, it's very capital intensive. We also don't have the hands-on experience as a company, although as individuals, we have the experience. There has been a huge call, historically, to become a vendor to Glencore. There are a lot of individuals within our local communities that aspire to become entrepreneurs, but they are not quite there as yet. The aim of the Enterprise Supply Development Business Center is to provide support to small businesses, help those businesses grow uh, to a point where they have the chance to do business with Glencore. We also have other training programs that we provide, and those training programs really arise out of gaps that we might have identified in the business. So the program has been very helpful in providing us with tools that we can use to track our progress with our business. And that helps us in developing not only our business acumen, but also a profile for us to say that these are the credentials that we have. The second aim is to ensure that that business is sustainable beyond Glencore. In other words, it can do business within the general mining complex with other mines or with other businesses. We've met quite a lot of people that have connected us to other people in the industry. We have learned a lot of tricks of the trade as well by coming to the program and meeting with experts. We understand the communities in which we operate and the disadvantages and the legacy issues. In order to empower our communities, it starts with education. The school that we're currently sitting at, Makause Combined School, we built this school. This school serves about 1,700 uh, learners in the community of Pola. The school actually starts from grade R up until grade 12. Aside providing academic excellence for the communities, Glencroft would provide the school with internet facilities. It helps I mean, the community a lot because it's not everybody that can provide data and also a hall whereby it serves the community in terms of big gatherings. Maths and science is key in the mining industry. So we looked at that and how we could better these maths and science results so that they got entry firstly to a tertiary institution and thereafter maybe into our mines or our company. The aim of the Lichtbron e-learning project is to help rural and underperforming schools to better their pass rates in maths and science. We do uh, live transmissions on a weekly basis, four days a week, which we do from Ermelo, uh, where grade 11 and 12 learners can lock in for the live sessions. We know A is going to move upwards. If I draw the same for B, then I have an inner gravitation force. The mass was around 30%. Physics for metric was also around 40% uh, thereabouts. But since the inception of the system, the school has not got below 90% in both math and physics. It means that we are going to move down. So really, it's improving the performance of the learners. I was not good in math and science last year, but then this year they introduced us to e-learning 
So e-learning was helping us with extra classes. And now I have improved my marks. They teach us different ways to do a problem and it's very easy. We have a platform called DigiCampus where the learners can log in anywhere, anytime, any teacher as well, where they can have the live lesson. So if a child is sick or at home, initiation camp, whatever the reason may be, they can still log into a lesson, they can go through the lesson note, there's a question paper after that with a memo, so they can check on their self even if they're not in the classroom. It's very important for us that sometimes teachers are in the rural schools and it's not particular science or maths teachers, um, so we need to make sure that we develop those teachers into champions of maths and science, because then all the children that pass their hands will actually benefit by that. I'm currently in grade 10, doing the science stream. I like school because I want to become a doctor, specifically a cardiologist that deals with the heart. This is one of the poorest communities whereby not all parents can provide for their kids in terms of buying those sanitary pads. Some of the girls, I might say even myself, I wasn't able to come to school because I had no pets. Like it's very hard to come to school when you're on your periods and you have no pets. The Kulega campaign started this year, whereby Glencore came in and then supplied our learners from grades 7 to 12 sanitary pads. It was a big thing, and it was also something that is essential to us, you know. Every girl has donated one pad from the 12 pack, so that when you're maybe unaware of your periods, and then you start your periods and at school, we can give you a pad and then you can go and change at school. The level of confidence in girls has really increased and that also increases the school progress. The program is going to be an annual program, which is going to assist our learners a lot. Sport, arts and culture is another pillar of our corporate social responsibility strategy. And we know with sport, our communities are passionate about sport. It has the power to change lives. We are quite proud of the partnership with the Imalashleni Local Football Association and SAFA. When I was growing up, yes, I was hoping that I would become a professional player. Uh, but now the age is not on my side. I'm old now. There was no coach for the team, so I decided to coach uh, these young kids. But I was not having that proper skills of coaching. We were fighting for relegations all this season. We have to train our coaches. It's all about the rules that ought to be applied during the game uh, processes, making sure that they provide proper training to players, they provide proper tactical and technical uh, skills to these young ones, because talent is there, but if it is not properly nurtured, then it's gonna go to waste. As a coach, you need to, to give the instruction to kids, to guide them and, and teach them, to mentor them, it's not about shouting, but it's about giving instruction, uh, caressing, and massaging these players because they need to take some care. They are young, but you have to be patient with them. Since Glenco gave us those skills, now we are competing. We are playing for winning, not, not to run to relegation. In the first phase, of the first year of the partnership between us and uh, Glencoe. We have seen 180 plus coaches trained, and amongst the 180, you have women. Glencoe training teaches us how to manage the team, how to, to treat the, the kids. I play left winger and center back. We learn more things about soccer, even though people don't believe in us as girls, but we still do it. We are having fun. The key responsibility as a youth coach is to ensure these kids are out of the street, to ensure that they are safe and they are healthy. We have to prepare these kids psychologically, technically and tactically, also to make friends. Soccer is about making friends. <laughs> We do have a long uh, life of mine plan for Glencoe in this area, but you know, coal mining will come to an end. 
and we need to ensure that when we do exit this area, the communities are better off, they are sustainable, and uh, they are resilient. This is one of the best combined schools that you can find around the whole province. So the environment alone is attractive for learners to just get in. They get excited, they feel a sense of belongingness to be in such an environment and then be studying among their peers and other things. That one alone is, builds their confidence level. I've worked in the mining industry for over 10 years. I've seen the impact that mining companies have on communities. Our dream is to become a mine operator so that one day when we have our own operations, we can also leave a meaningful impact in the communities that we operate in.